So, <laughs> hi Karen again. So I'm gonna introduce to you what we call uh, cold brew coffee. Right. Have you had it before? Anywhere? I think so. Yes. Okay. So you basically, you gotta brew it overnight or something like that. Yeah. Basically, the the coffee sits uh, rather than using hot water, which uses heat to extract flavor out from the coffee beans or the coffee grounds. Uh, what we're doing is we're replacing it with thyme. So thyme uh, will do the job instead of heat. So in this case, what you can do is to get uh, a cold brew coffee bottle like this. Right? This is from Hario. It's called the co filter in coffee bottle. So it's shaped like a wine glass, a wine bottle. Sorry. So it is quite interesting in a sense. So let me just yeah, it is. So I'm just gonna open it and just show you what goes on inside. Okay, so of course this holds the liquid, uh, both the cold brew coffee and the water that you use initially to, to make the coffee. The stopper, right? So it acts just like the, the wine bottle. So this is where you put the coffee grounds, yeah? Yeah, and this is where it holds it all together, all right? So, so this is what we'll do. We will assemble this, right? Put the stopper back on. And I have already ground some coffee already. So in this case, what we will do is we will usually use anything between one part coffee to about eight to ten parts water, uh, because cold brew usually is a much stronger, so-called tasting, thicker tasting coffee. So in this case, we will use this this bottle here holds approximately uh, about up to 750 ml of water. So you can make anything between. 400, 600 or 750 ml of uh, cold brew. So uh, we're going to do the maximum. So that's about 75 grams of coffee. Uh. So this is what we'll do. All right, same thing, we'll use a scale. So we'll measure out the coffee. Yeah, so this should be about 75 grams of coffee, I hope. All right. So it should all that coffee just a little bit shy all right so we will screw this back on all right and actually what we'll do is we'll actually pour the water in through from the top all right so in this case you can of course use many ways to do it you can bring it to the to to the sink because they say that tap water is safe or if you prefer to use boiled water, then you can, of course, using whatever you have at home, just pour the water slowly in. Yeah. So, if you really want to be very exact about it, of course, you can use a scale again. But in this case, I would trust the manufacturer mm. just to, to pour water to the center of the machine. Yeah, correct. So just room temperature water? Room temperature is fine, yeah. Because the idea of using water that's not hot is because it helps to remove the... Or rather I would say that if, you make, you're, if you're making like cold brew coffee, it does help to remove the acidity in the coffee so it's not so sour. Uh, yes, correct. So the same coffee, brewed hot or like a cold brew method would taste very different. To have? Yes, you can. So that's the whole idea. Yeah, correct. Yes, you really want the, the coffee to be in contact with the, the water. Right? So next step, of course, is to put it into the fridge. Yeah, so what we'll do is that we'll just pop this back in the fridge. Um, and I'll come back with some already brewed cold brew coffee thing. Okay. So this is the, the cold brew uh, Colombia that we have here. All right. So usually Colombia, when it's uh, this is from a farm called uh, Finca Camellia, uh, and this is the growing region uh, in, in Colombia. It's called Antioquia. So so Colombia is uh, one of the 
world's most advanced uh, coffee growing uh, producers and uh, countries in the world. Um, so, and they have many growing regions. So each growing region has its own peculiar taste characteristics, and of course, where the where the coffee comes from, which estate, which farm, also impacts the taste. So, um, this was a coffee farm that uh, that my uh, that that my boss went to, and he liked the coffee, so we ended up buying the coffee from them. Right. So. Usually the coffee tastes quite fruity, so we can go ahead and taste the cold brew and see whether it's still fruity. So it is still quite fruity, but without that, you know that some people think that um, coffee is, is quite sour sometimes. Yeah, it doesn't have that strong outer taste. Mm, it's quite smooth. Yeah, it's like fruity to So okay, so what you see here is if this is in the fridge, so you would put it anything between 18 to 24 hours. Mm, right. Does it matter if it goes beyond? It may become increasingly bitter. So so even though time is on our side, but it doesn't mean that it's, <laughs> it's gonna taste good forever. So it will potentially taste quite bitter if you put it too long of the coffee. Yeah? So, just imagine 24 hours later, you are going to take out the coffee grounds and all you need to do is just remove the top. Yeah. So you can see it's all attached, right? So earlier on, we showed how it can be unscrewed. So basically, you just unscrew everything, put it aside for washing, pop the, just put the top half of the entire bring unit back on and basically you can you can pour out your your cold brew coffee uh, from the top here yeah, that's all there is to it it's quite fairly simple and straightforward okay. okay so actually it is very easy to, to make cold brew coffee at home one thing to note though Cold brew coffee has a lot of caffeine. Higher than higher than normal, yes. Right. Because because the longer the, the the water stays in contact with the coffee, it actually extracts more caffeine. So you know, usually we think that espresso, for example, is quite strong. Uh, it's strong, of course, because the ratio of water to coffee is quite uh, quite quite small. So like usually about one part coffee to maybe about. About four or five parts water max, uh, but but it's only a fairly short amount of time. It's only about 20, 25, 30 seconds, so it doesn't take a lot of caffeine out actually. Okay. So your cold brew coffee, conversely, it's been soaking overnight and it takes a lot of caffeine. So try not to make too big a cup for yourself. Eh? Yeah. Might, not be, <laughs> might not be able to sleep at night. Um, yeah, in the morning on a hot day, it's quite refreshing if you don't want to drink hot water. It's always good to, to make it, then you just leave it in the fridge. So anytime you need uh, something refreshing, cold, caffeinated, it's always there for you. Mm, I'm glad you, you like it.